Ninus BreachCast, the world's first identity management app made exclusively for identity experts and product owners, is available in the iOS App Store now. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Nidus Anarchy Series. I'm your host, Adam, CIO and co-founder of Nidus, and today we're going to talk about a new feature from OpenAI, ChatGPT Search. I think this is the final nail in the coffin for Google. So we've already talked about this just in a previous podcast about how AI just keeps coming out with more stuff so fast, so frequently, and how Google search and all those companies are now dead. And again, we have a new thing, ChatGPT search. So OpenAI released this new feature. Let's dive into it. So introducing ChatGPT search. ChatGPT can now search the web in a much better way than before. You can get fast, timely answers with links to relevant web sources, which you would have previously needed to go to search engine for. This blends the benefits of natural language interface with the value of up-to-date sports scores, news, stocks, quotes, and more. ChatGPT will choose to search the web based on what you ask, or you can manually choose to search by clicking the web search icon. Now, why this is important is all these LLMs, not just ChatGPT, but all of them, they're trained on information up to a certain date and time. So if we actually ask it, so like, actually, let's just go to this. Let's ask it, when was, when was its data less than? So for ChatGPT, uh, when is your data up to? And this is probably the wrong question, but when is your data up to? Let's just see what it says. So my training data goes up to October 2023. So anything beyond that, I can use web access to find up-to-date information because it now has web search. So what that means is all the information that's in the LLM for ChatGPT, it only knows stuff up to October of 2023. Anything after that, the LLM has no idea. So if you ask it to come up with something, it'll just hallucinate and come up with the best guess of what it thinks happened, and it's most likely wrong. So this was one of the biggest limiting factors of LLMs was that they only work up to a certain date for information. That's when agents came into play. And with agents, then it's like, hey, if I don't know the answer, the LLM can then call an agent to search the web and find information and bring it back and, and then give you the results. Now, this is integrated directly into ChatGPT with ChatGPT Search. So let's keep on going. Search will be available at chatgpt.com as well as our desktop and mobile apps. All ChatGPT Plus and team users, as well as Search GPT waitlist users, will have access today. I have access today. Enterprise and Edu users will get access in the next few weeks while we roll out free users over the next coming months. So the big thing here is Perplexity has been doing this now for a while. This is kind of the Perplexity's main bread and butter, which is it's a research engine. It's not an it's not just a chat engine. It's not a search engine. Perplexity was always a research. So if you want really in-depth information about a topic, Perplexity is really great at going out, finding information, and giving you the sources of where it got the information so you can look it up and fact check it yourself. So this is definitely going to be going after some of that pie that Perplexity has created. So I think the best thing to do now is let's test it. So we have here is ChatGPT with web search. So to enable the web search right out of the gate, we just click the search the web icon. So now anything I type is now acting as a search engine. So something else that has just recently happened was Apple has announced new MacBook Pros, uh, Mac Minis, and I think the iMac as well. So this is only, I think yesterday or two days ago that it came out, it was, it was announced. So there's no way the LLM has been trained on this data. So we're gonna ask it information about Apple. So what are the new products? Announced by Apple, and how do they compare to their previous versions? Okay, we're just going to copy this. Oops. So let's ask. So, ChatGPT, you can see it has actually showed the little search icons of the websites it went to, which is pretty cool. So, Apple has recently unveiled several new products, each offering notable enhancements over their predecessors. Here are the overview of these products and their key improvements iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro. Okay, so that was announced, you know, a little over a month ago, uh, but still relatively new, so still good. So, we have, and you can see it's linking to an article from The Sun, and it has the kind of a bibliography of everything that it says. Apple Watch Series 10, AirPods 4, AirPods Pro 2. And it even says the AirPods Pro 2 now include the FDA approved hearing aid functionality. So that's pretty awesome. And it links to the Apple website itself for that. MacBook Pro with M4 chips. That's the most recent announcement from two days ago. The latest MacBook Pro models are equipped with an M4, M4 Pro, and M4 Max chips, providing up to 1.8 times faster performance than the M1 equipped 13 inch MacBook Pro. And this is coming from the Australian. 
and then an iMac M4 chip. Interesting, it doesn't say anything about the Mac Mini, so I'm not even going to give any more information. But now we got this little link down here for sources. So if we click on the sources on the right hand side, we get all the citations of where it got all this information from. So this is all the links and other search results. So we can now go and actually read the information articles and dive deeper as we want. So now let's take this exact same chat and let's throw this into perplexity. And we're going to do two different things. So first we're going to ask perplexity standard, the exact same question and see what it comes back with. So now let's go ahead and paste in and ask perplexity the exact same question. So right at the top are all the sources of where it's got its information from. This does seem snappier, uh, much quicker response. Okay, so here we go. Answer, Apple has announced several new products in 2024 with significant updates from their previous lineup. Here's a summary of the key new products and how they compare with their previous versions. It's actually interesting. Now that I think about that, it's the way that it lists how it's better than the previous ones is just kind of within the paragraph well within perplexity they're kind of bulleting i kind of prefer the bullet form it's way easier to read but anyway iphone 16 series I, apple unveiled the iphone 16 16 plus 16 pro pro max on september 9th 2024 while specific details weren't provided in the search results we can infer some improvements based on typical annual updates so now it's guessing i don't like that uh, apple watch series 10 airpods 4 ipad pro ipad air the other one didn't have that macbook air vision pro that's it. So no information on the new MacBook Pro and the new Mac Mini at all or the iMac. So nothing about the release that just came out two days ago. So here we can also search images. We're not even going to do that. But now what I want to do, we're going to do this one more time. We're going to do a new thread. We're going to ask it the exact same question, but now we're going to do it with Pro. Pro gives much better results. Think chat GPT 3.5 to version 4, something along those lines. So now we're going to re-ask it again. This is the paid version of the answers. So now it's going through doing a much thorough search for better results. In theory, let's find out what it comes back with. But as you can see, this is taking a lot more time to generate these results. We have a little working progress bar that's going really slow while it's trying to fetch Apple product, announce fine details and specifications about the products in its previous version. So we're just going to let this thing go. There we go. Okay, now it seems to be doing something. Okay, the work seems to be done. It's now comparing the specifications, features, and any other relevant information between new Apple products and their previous versions, wrapping up. So now we have all the sources and we have an answer. Oh, this is cool. Now we have a table of the new product with its specifications and the previous version with its specifications. This is much better for a comparison analysis, which is kind of what I was asking for. The very first one, M4 MacBook Pro. So we see the previous version being the M3 chip with eight core CPU for performance, for efficiency core, so iPad mini 7, iMac with chip, Mac mini, the Mac mini is in here. So that one got the Mac mini, but it didn't go into the iPhone. So that's pretty interesting too. So they are still both kind of limited, but Perplexity Pro is giving me more of the information of which I wanted, which was the one that just happened two days ago and that side by side. So you can kind of see the differences between these two, but the idea here is that GPT now has built-in agents for web search and it's going to make it only that much more powerful let's go ahead and try to ask it the same exact question but now we're not going to say that we want to do it default by search we're just going to give it the information and see if it can infer that it needs to do a web search searching the web so the first thing it does is it realizes it needs to search the web and again we got the same thing again so iphone 16 iphone 16 pro series macbook pro with m4 imac with m4 airpods 4 airpods pro 2 Still no Mac Mini, which to me is the most impressive thing that Apple released. So that's kind of a bummer. But again, this is just the beginning. This looks like a preview. Uh, but this is this is still pretty cool. And I'm sure I could just go through these things and look by date. These two days ago, I could click on this, go into the Ars Techno thing. And here's the M4 comparing details. So the the Chat GPT search, everyone's already using most likely chat GPT nowadays to start off their queries anyway. So now that it has this built in search functionality, it's really just going to just take that much more traffic from all the search engines that are out there. And this really is the direction, right? This is where we're going. I feel like the web search is just kind of like, Oh, we still need this only because the training data is old. Once that once it's figured out how to have real time training, where it's training up to date constantly and the LLM is constantly available for real time information, search engines aren't even really going to be necessary anymore. So it's pretty cool that they're doing this. They're definitely trying to take it away. Also in the search engine world, Meta has just announced that they are now coming up with a search engine, which is weird just because they don't want to lose that market share. Cause I guess 
They want their LLMs not to be going to Google or Bing or wherever it's searching to get its information from. They want all that information to come from internally in itself. So they're coming up with a search engine now. It's pretty weird. If you were to ask me like, hey, do you think Meta should make a, a search engine like a month ago? I'd be like, no, why? That's That whole industry is dying in my opinion. But I guess they see it as important enough to generate data for their LLMs to be on top. So I kind of get it from that perspective. That's going to be a lot of time and money. But hey, if these companies are spending billions of dollars to train these LLMs, I'm sure they could spend a couple hundred million and build a good enough search engine to not have to rely on third parties. So I guess that kind of makes sense. So that's a little quick overview on ChatGPT search. It should be out to everyone else shortly, but for right now, if you are a paying member or if you signed up for the early access release, you do have access to play with this now. And it is a lot of fun. I guarantee this is just gonna be part of just as I ask questions and as I work on stuff, it's just gonna start getting more information from the web, which is great because that just means I'm just gonna get better results. So from here on out, we're gonna get better and better results, better, better code. So I love where everything's going so fast. I have no idea what's coming on every day. We'll wait to see what comes out tomorrow. <laughs> and we'll talk about that. See you around. Bye. Nidus has just created the first iOS app made exclusively for identity management professionals. It's called Nidus Breachcast and you can download it now. It's amazing. We have real time updates of all the latest breaches that are occurring, CVEs as they come out real time, really pertaining just to identity management. We have media that's going on this podcast. We're gonna be bringing in a lot more others as well. And we even have a complete vendor list of all the identity management vendors and all their products. So you can find out exactly where to download their software, all the documentation. And what's even more awesome is an identity management glossary. All those crazy words and acronyms that we can never remember, they're all listed in there for you. No ads, just pure information to make your life simple. We'll